So I've been reading lately, surprisingly. I've been wor working, I've been reading Think and Grow Rich. Think big and third one, The Secret. The Secret I read a while ago, but I feel like the three of them have like a really similar message and it's basically a law of attraction and I cannot preach about this enough. Like I cannot rave about this enough. I, I'm not gonna say it changed my life because honestly, I feel like a lot of things in life, it's a working progress, like waking up early, it's a working progress. You can't just wake up early one day and the, all the days after you just automatically wake up early. It's not a thing. You have to consistently try. And also being happy, you have to consistently try. And also being in a relationship, you have to consistently try or else your relationship's gonna fail and you're gonna break up. But um, yeah. Um, these books, I'm not gonna go into like super detail, but basically they are like a lot like their title, Think and Grow Rich. It's basically teaching you how to think and eventually grow rich. And um, Thinking Big is basically teaching you how to think big and not care about like the trivial things in life and actually just have a bigger dream. The Secret, I guess it's not really like its title, but at the same time it kind of is because The Secret is basically talking about law of attraction and how it can change your life and how you can attract all the good things in life. And so, these books, I just want to say I love. First of all, I love. Um, I still have to read the, I think it's called The Rich Dad, Poor Dad, something like that. Is that the title? I, I don't remember. But um, that I still have to read. But these three books I totally recommend. Especially, I feel like especially for kids with the traditional mindset. And when I say traditional mindset, I'm talking about myself because I grew up obviously Asian and my family has been really traditional. And they basically tell me that money is not that important, it's evil, and you don't really care. You shouldn't really care about money that much because it's kind of like sinful, a sin, things like that. But um, and that sort of mindset pushes you away from money. And honestly, I'm quite surprised that my family, like, they're they're doing pretty good for the mindset they that they have. I can't even talk anymore. For the mindset that they have, they are doing pretty well. But at the same time, like, I realize how harmful that mindset is. And just the thought of feeling money is evil or filthy or dirty, that drives you away from money because the law of attraction basically means that you have to desire something for that thing to come to you. If you have this inherent like kind of oh get away from me that kind of mindset that thing's not gonna come to you and um, also if you have that like don't come to me mindset that means you won't think about that thing as much and if that thing is money you won't think about money as much and so eventually money's not gonna come to you because law of attraction means the more you think about something the more possibility probability that you're gonna get that thing and so um yeah, really recommend these books and I also have this Audible um, membership thingy that is free for the first month, 30 days I think, 30 days or a month. And um, yeah, if you want to read a book, just click on the link in the info box, get your free book and just set a reminder in your calendar and just cancel it before it charges you. It is totally free within the first 30 days so be sure to check that out and I can't believe I'm doing like a sponsor-ish video it's not sponsored by the way I do have a link but it's not sponsored like they didn't pay me so um yeah reading is just so important I just realized after graduation especially when I was still in big four I just did not read like I just did not have that habit and when even when I was in school I did not read anything outside of school I just read a lot of textbooks a lot of accounting textbooks and so, yeah, it's kind of embarrassing talking about it, but I was like a total nerd because I couldn't do well without reading those accounting books. So that's all I did. And then after graduation, I just focused on like reading CPA stuff and also like nothing much. But lately, especially after I went to private accounting, I started reading like actual books and I also started listening to audiobooks, which has been so 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 helpful for my morning commute, which is like pretty long. With traffic, it's like over an hour, so it's always good to have a book that keeps me entertained and not as pissed off at LA traffic. So um hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to read more because reading really helps stabilize your mind and just put you in a better state. I was not a believer because I've always been a writer, I love writing, and at a point of my life and also majority of my life, I had a firm belief that reading more will kill my creativity. Currently, I don't think like that anymore, maybe because I don't write as much anymore, but yeah, I, I don't think like that anymore. I think reading is so important and I love reading nonfiction. I love reading self-help books. I hate reading fiction. I'm just not a fiction person from beginning to end. Some fiction are pretty good. Gar Gone Girl is pretty good and there's also like 
find Jenny, capture Jenny. I think that's what it's called. That's also pretty good. But um, I'm just not into fiction as much. I like to learn about you know self-help, um, self-development, and all that. So building myself to become a better person. I'm all into that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and also read more, please read more. Better yourself, always become a better version of yourself. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.